Okay, so you are now reacting to from and her solo song Deep. You guys remember um, Girls Generation? You better run. That was like the one of the one song, one of the more recent songs you downloaded. It was like the guitar. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Hyo's in Step Back, by the way. Hmm. So we've reacted to both Hyo in Step Back and we've reacted to Hyo's um, past solo song, Dessert. The overall concept of this concept is of a predator preparing to fight and capture <laughs> another <laughs> predator. <laughs> what? <laughs> the overall concept of this concept. Did I say that? <laughs> concept of this concept is- <laughs> we, both oh. like, we both were like- <laughs> The overall concept of this comeback. Oh. Okay. The opening lyric state, something's different. We encounter like two sharks. Oh, you can take it? Won't be easy, you'll see. Like the waves, I'll hit you. Whip up the water deeper into me. While the lyrics sing of a shark staring down and challenging his prey, the music video shows Hyo as a spider already prepared to capture her prey. I mean, if there was a fight, it was over before it actually began. While Hyo is prepared to deal with any threat that might come her way, are you? When it comes to cybersecurity, chances are you're not safe as you think. Research has shown that while people's general cybersecurity knowledge is growing, there is still a lot that people don't know. Thankfully, with our sponsor NordVPN, you can rest assured that you're safe from any predators that are out there to get your data. NordVPN is a virtual private network that protects you from threats to your privacy and security by encrypting your data and disguising your IP address. This means you can surf the web in confidence, knowing nobody, not would-be hackers, not your internet service provider, not even Nord, can access your data. So for maximum protection while you're on the web, get NordVPN today with our limited time offer. Click on the link in the description or go to nordvpn.com and use the promotional code react to the k to get a huge discount on a two-year plan plus four entire bonus months. Many thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. The song is composed by Sky Adams, Ashton Nicole Cassie, Moonshine, Moa Cassiopeia, and Ellen Berg. Moonshine. Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go. All right. Three, two, I'm ready for this. One. Oh man. Okay, that we're, was... gonna, we're gonna have to go back to that. <laughs> that was so whack. <laughs> this beat though. See, I. Wow. It settles down when she starts singing, like the second line that she sings. That's something we're not taught to do. Oh, her mon monotone voice is really working on me. Yeah. You hear that song? Yeah. yeah. That is a very unsettling sound. Oh. oh my god, I love the bass so much. It's like, uh, what's the word? It's really creepy. Oh my goodness, what is going on with the instrument? I love the instrumentation. Yeah. I love the distortion and the octave switching. Uh huh. Oh Ooh. man. Her vo voice like popped at the end. Synth. Yeah. <laughs> it's... It sounds kind of trap to me. Yeah, it's very. Trap! Oh, like a spider, like a spider's trap. <laughs> That was an interesting, like she wasn't like singing a pitch, but they like auto-tuned her and it was like really weird. <laughs> oh. She got her victim. I think that's cool. Yeah. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like somebody could vote to this, like they just... I like the slower chord movement. Yeah. Mm, that's a nice contrast. It's like, this is like, it's like a nice break, you know? Mm. That sounded like mallet percussion. Oh. Oh! Ooh, the G, oh, in, in, inversion. Mm, turned up the filter cut off. <laughs> Bro, that synth line is so nasty. It's so nasty. 
Oh yes, we can get back to the feedback stuff. Oh. Oh, I like that. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> like the the material from the beginning. Oh. That's crazy. You like that synth? That was. It sounded like the siren, but then it was like. Mm. That was really cool. Can you imitate that again? No. <laughs> <laughs> what a rager! Yeah, that was a, that was a banger. Yeah. Slapped. It's fucking. Comments wild. done. No. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was sick. That was like very dancey. It just works. It's so good. I don't know. You can do better than that. It checks all the boxes for what we would if you if you built a house or like so if you gave. Oh, a, here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I don't need to talk anymore. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> no, no. Like if so, if you give a kid a crayon and you tell them to draw a house, right? You know what they're gonna, or a barn. You know what they're gonna draw. They're gonna draw a square. They're gonna draw the little cap. They're gonna draw the X and there's gonna be a door and two windows. Like, you know, you know your, your house that is solid and dependable. And this oh. song feels like it is all the things like, like the house that you would draw if you were drawing the perfect house. They put everything in its box and they put the bridge in the right place, they put the chorus and the verses in the right place. Like everything is there. The, the chord progression makes sense, the, the timbres rock, they have a, just a like, super cool chorus with the perfect amount of like, rhythm and excitement and energy. But it goes beyond that, which is the thing. So you have like, your stability, and then you have this chaos that is in the song that perfectly matches and meshes with that everything we know and that is stable, and then it creates this like wonderfully unbalanced, balanced thing that is just, like she says, on the knife's edge of being absolute, complete anarchy, and yet still held together by spiders' webs. But I was going for the, like, the thing, but just like right. something very strong. I think it was good because I feel like the purpose of the song was to give a really like danceable, song that you can dance to at the club and it wasn't anything like too deep anything about social commentary or anything but she keeps saying deep 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 it's so deep <laughs> you can follow formula really well but if you follow the formula and offer something new on top of it or underneath it if you can give me any type of different color texture flavor something from the formula great well, that's what we study, you know, like Haydn started this whole like orchestral symphonic form of a symphony or like exposition, development, recapitulation and stuff. And it's like, why is Mozart good? Because he did that. He did the same formula of sonata form, but then really added on to that structure. Why is Beethoven? Beethoven is because he took the symphonic form and fucking blew it out. He blew it up. It's taking the formula and doing something completely I mean, it doesn't need to be completely, but it needs to be, it can even be subtle, but just something different. So within the very, you know, like typical traditional structure, there's, yeah, there are the, it, it manages to be endlessly, it, it reinvents itself constantly. And when things come back, like, I'm like, oh yeah, I did need this. And then right after the last chorus, I'm like, how is she, is there going to be an extra section? Is it going to ruin the song for me? And then it didn't, and without, she brought the perfect thing back at the end. So like, it's just constantly being impressed with the decisions that were made. I also find it interesting how she kind of combined a lot of different genres, like rap. There was some rap kind of things in there, and there was some trap kind of things in there, and there was some like EDM kind of things in there. She did it in a way that was more seamless. She kind of had it easier because she did trap, EDM, and rap are more yeah. similar kind of styles mm -hmm. and a lot of the times they incorporate like classical music or Arabic music or like a whole bunch of sorts of music in K-pop which is definitely harder to make it seamless but I think that what made it stick out for her is that she did it pretty seamlessly. It felt like all of them were happening at once and there were some times when one would kind of come sneak its way up to the front of the line but you didn't really know. You weren't really that cognizant of it as it was happening as you would be in other K-pop songs. Mm -hmm where the styles were more, more like diverse and they kind of have to like kerplunk you into a new style and you're like, okay, and it's kind of like whiplash, but she didn't really have any whiplash moments stylistically, I don't think. Wait, can we just play the beginning again? I don't know why, that was like oh, the yeah. most disorienting thing. Like I thought we were in five for a second, man. Like I was like, what is happening? Yeah, I didn't know if we were in like 
compound. I thought we were in like a compound meter, meter yeah. dude. Like, but like it, that that was like a hallmark of the the song, really. Like especially the verses, like how frequently it shifted from like duple to triple, mm -hmm. kind of feel like even within a measure. <laughs> yeah, it's such a cool opening. Oh my god, I love how like the sound of like uh, something that sounds really compressed. Like There's some kind of like effect a, that's a, like a tooth yes, tooth. It, I, you yes, know what I'm talking about. It's like, but like what, compression. I'm pretty sure it just is. It's just yeah. It like, sounds like very hyper compressed, compressed and like it, like it, it gives this very like kind of ominous, uncomfortable feeling, and I, I love it. Like I think it really adds to the. Um, <laughs> like you're already, you're, yeah, already you're already trapped. Already, like, you're, <laughs> you're already, already in trapped. it. You're already like can't do in shit. In her clutches. Yeah. Okay. It sounds like there's like no downbeat in the beginning. Yeah. There's like, no everything downbeat. is all on the. Upbeat. I really like that. Ho, 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 ho. I feel like it, it. There is a downbeat, but like the. the it's the, not as. It's yeah, more it's, faint. It's very ambiguous. How is the downbeat ambiguous? Because like in the beginning, like I feel very confused. The reason it sounds like it, like, cause you expect it to be in four, right? Mm -hmm. But instead of giving you like quarter notes or eighth notes, they give you like a quarter note triplet, ta 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 ta, ta or something. So it's like, pa pa pa. Yeah. Oh! Which isn't exactly triple, but it's like, you don't expect that. I think it's also because the the sixteen notes aren't like completely straight because of yeah like ba -na -da -na. like it's kind of instead of ba -da -da -da, it kind of sounds like da -da -da -da, like you know what I mean There's different kind of notes like a are emphasized yeah and so it feels like the rhythm has changed. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like it lost its energy ever? No, no, never. Why not? Because it because because of what we all do, we what we just said. Because but it they just, did like the the chorus itself repeated quite a lot, and it's just deep, deep. The deep, chorus deep, was a banger. It just bangs. Never yeah. forget that deep, the chorus. Yes. Was a banger. Deep, yeah. Deep, deep bangs deep. Yeah, it bangs. <laughs> yes, that's it. Sometimes there's just this. There's a part that's beyond explanation where like she just makes the deep good. What? And it sounds like dip, and it's great. Dip, 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 and like oh, and this, it's the staccato. It's the instrumentation, and I'm like. I wasn't listening to her voice. I, it was just an, her, her voice was an instrument. It's at that an point. instrument, yeah. It wasn't exactly. necessarily like yeah. the lyrics or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But also that goes to show that the song is something that is presented for us to engage with, and it, it, it certainly depends so. on where you're coming from. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, so the like. The whip. Dip, dip, dip. Is it whip? Is that what the. The second time, I think it's whip. It sounded different first and second time. It's like a something, it's just like a... Yeah, it's like descending kind of cluster yes. thing. I think it's lower the second time, but yeah. Uh, I mean, it's like, it's an yeah. octave, yeah, but I think it's pretty much... No, it's just like a cluster, like kind of pentatonic-y, like cluster. Kind of, I don't know if it has a D in it, too. Probably not. Probably I think not. it's just this. Yeah, just three notes. Not that whole step crunch. Three whole steps, or three notes, two whole steps in between of the three notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Rebound. Yeah, she goes like robotic. Like it's out of, <laughs> and it's like out of the key. Yeah. Down and burn it, do down, like. <laughs> it's like the key is, you I know, even know, is this. <laughs> <laughs> and they like, that's kind of tight. They like tuned it to be like specifically those notes. Yeah. <laughs> right? I love the use of auto tune too. It was like, it's like very subtle, but it, it works really well. Like right there. Dun, 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 ba, da, da. There was auto tune on her voice when, when it did that. It's just, like all the, it's just like these little like textural things that yeah. make it really interesting to listen subtle. to, and it's a bop. What? Distortion, yeah. EDM, <laughs> beat boops. Dude. I really like the like because it kind of sounds yeah. like a siren, but it is functioning like in in the harmony. So, well, it feels like like a guitar with a lot of distortion that you sometimes get octaves that jump out, mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. uh, 
It almost feels random when the octaves jump up. But it's kind of in the scale degree, and that's what I really liked about this version of that sound. It's like, it's crazy, but it still sounds like it's part of the key, the tonality. It is. And I th yeah, I mean, that's what a lot of what makes it really work. And yet the mixing is also very good too, where it's like, if it's too obvious and too loud, it wouldn't have worked. But if it, it, it just, you can hear it, but you have to just listen to it a little harder. And like when you, when you do, it's like, it rewards you. It's with, super rewarding. Yeah. 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 I don't know if there's too much to focus on. That's when the distortion gets a little overwhelming, but when you can like kind of section it off in your mind, it's chill. Yeah. It wasn't overwhelming. Okay. It felt stylistic and you know, just cool sounding distortion, but not like, you know, crazy overwhelming like noise. Oh yeah, like the super distorted lead synth. I like that a lot. Like it's super active and like swooping in and out of the, the texture. I also like the distortion in her voice, like going into the chorus. They're kind of like a static sound and it, um, I think it helps with like the contrast. Yeah, and then like the vocal stacking too, mm -hmm. on top of that with all the distortion. Yeah. And then why is the dance break just so satisfying? <laughs> the space before it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that setup. <laughs> that <laughs> just complete silence. <laughs> I love the wood blocks. Yeah, yeah. the wood blocks. Uh. Is it just one beat right now? Look at that. Oh it, yeah, it is just one beat. But it's just like her it and the kick. It feels so long. Though. Yeah. Her and the kick and then. The yeah, and her dance move goes with the kick. Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, and it's like kind of a, yeah, it, it kind of encapsulates the whole song with the switch from like the massive kind of halftime triple feel and then mm -hmm. switch right to with the wood, with the introduction of the, the woodblock yeah. stuff. I feel like this is SM's style now. It's just very like peculiar and like interesting for me to listen to. I like how her, like she's so talented. It's ridiculous. She can rap like the, the song, well, she's a rapper. So she's, she's, the, she's, the main, she's the main rapper for um, Ghost Generation. So um, mm. I think this was a very, very, <laughs> like she has a very distinct like voice. And I think it was showcased very well in this song. But also, like, she's a singer, and she's, she's, like, the main dancer in the group. And, like, I think this is, like, like, wow. It's a spectacle, but it's also, like, music, you know? It's a good demonstration of her talent on all yes! fronts. Yes! Yes! Yeah. I'm laughing, but at the same time, I'm kind of, like, it's a laugh of, like, desperation and confusion. <laughs> you know? Come on. Let's bring it back to one no, point. don't bring it back to, to one where? Point. No. A rack. A rack. That's what I thought because that makes more sense. Oh, spider. Yeah. I just um can't read. That's all. A rack to the K. Oh my god. 